Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be about my reading plans for the month of June. I only have one firm book on the TBR uh, for the month and that is the pick for the book club that I belong to. This month we have chosen to read All the Names by Jose Saramago. I'm really not quite sure what it's about so I'm going to read what it says to you on the uh, synopsis. Um, so it says a subtle and insightful story about boredom, passion, curiosity and memory from Nobel Prize winner Jose Saramago. Senor Jose is a lonely civil servant who spends his days labouring in the labyrinthine stacks of Lisbon's central registry. Among the file cards for the living and the dead one of an apparently ordinary woman will transform his life. Breaking away from his strict routine, Jose resolves to track the woman down, obsessively following a thread of clues in a bid to rescue her from an oblivion deeper than the grave. That really doesn't tell me very much um, about it at all. So going in fairly blind to this one, um, as always, uh, it doesn't sound like the sort of book that I would personally normally pick up. So it's going to be one of those books that sounds like it pushes me out of my comfort zone with reading. Something that I am actually quite grateful that we do in this group uh, because quite regularly the books push me out of my comfort zone. Um, so yes, yeah, so I shall look forward to picking that one up at some point in the month. The only other two that I want to try and get to this month is The Memory of Souls by Jen Lyons. This is the third book in her A Chorus of Dragons series. It's a uh, fantasy, um, it's got magic, it's got dragons, it's got demons. Uh, it's a political fantasy, I think. Um, but yeah, uh, having read the first two books, I mean, the first book says that Kirin isn't supposed to be a good person. And I have to say, book two has me questioning everybody's motives, um, which I found really enjoyable. Um, and it did actually keep me quite drawn in this time around because um, the story wasn't quite so... Uh, I, I think book one was a little drier in the way it was told. They were both told in the same way. So they both told, it was both um, telling someone's backstory, but from two people's point of view. Uh, but book two was a lot more humorous than, than book one. Um, it flowed slightly better for me. The switch between the two characters that were telling the story was a lot clearer to me at times, especially as we were going through the story because we... We were, we were telling the story from two, two very clear different points of view. Not quite sure whether that is continued in The Memory of Souls. I haven't cracked this open yet to know. But because of how much I've enjoyed book one and two, this is a library copy. This will be going back to the library because I have ordered the entire series um, so that I have them for my shelves because I've really enjoyed the first two books. And I have a feeling that I shall enjoy the final three books as well. Um, there is definitely, when I've asked a couple of people who have read the series, there has kind of been a definite keep reading um, and a little bit of teasing going on. Uh, so looking forward to trying to get this one read in the month of June. The second book is a book that I've got on pre-order and that is Shadow Stitch by Carrie Thomas. This is a sequel to Threadneedle, which I finished in the month of April. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was It's one of those books that I don't understand why I waited three years to read it from when I purchased it, uh, but I did. Um, but also I'm glad that I did because if I'd read it at the time that I bought it, I would have had to wait three years for the sequel. Um, the story is about a young woman, Anna, who is she knows that she's a witch, um, but she doesn't really know anything about the magical world around her. And in her 16th year, she meets some friends um, and join, forms their own kind of coven. And they teach her about um, the magical world around her, which her aunt is trying to keep her from. 
book two I think is going to pick up where book one left off uh, can't really tell you anything about it because it would be spoilers um, but yes I'm looking forward to continuing the series because I really did enjoy it and I have since tidied my shelves and this big gap up here is to put shadow stitch in when it finally arrives so my plans other than that because we all know that three books for me is a no-brainer um my other plans are i have signed up for uh readathon a big shocker who, who would have thought um but yes, it's uh, the amazing readathon run by Brie over at Four Paws and a Book. It is a team-based competitive readathon based around traveling the world. We are going to visit 10 cities around the world. We'll be given a prompt. Um, the first prompt will be given to us on the 31st of May. And we have to read a book that fits that prompt. Um, to then be able to move on to the next city. Um, there it's, you get points for the books that you read, you can gain all sorts of additional points, um, depending on, um, so we we, this year she's themed the teams around genres. I've joined the romance genre because what I need to do in the month of June is I really need to knuckle down and start reading a lot more of the authors that are going to be at the Four Brits Book Fest signing in July because I haven't read that many. Um, so I need to get a wriggle on and get to more of those. So for every romance book that I uh, read and submit, I will gain extra points because they're romance books. Um, and there are 10 cities and the aim is to try and get to all 10 cities and as many points as you possibly can for your team um, and we'll go from there the uh, I think the prompts will be released every two to three days so you have a couple of days to read a book um, you don't have to visit all 10 cities to uh, complete the readathon you just have to go at your pace so start reading the first prompt um, if you know if you don't finish that book until two or three prompts have passed um, you then move on to prompt two and you just keep reading through the prompts at your pace some people will read quicker so she's done lots of extras um, that you can do in between which will all help to gain points for your team um, so I'm hoping to do that uh, but yeah so I think the majority of my month is going to be spent spinning the wheel of names of authors um, and picking up books I'm really in the mood for some cowboy romances um, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that some of these authors have some cowboy romances because so far they've all been kind of on the darker side or MC romances and I need something different or even just some contemporary would be nice um, but yeah I'll see where it goes so that's my short and rather sweet reading plan for the month of June. Um, are you taking part in the amazing readathon? If you are, uh, let me know which team you're in. Are you joining me in Team Romance? If not, what plans do you have for the month of June? Let me know um, in the comments box. I like hearing from them. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.